Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nico here. I'm going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is a company that um, you basically spend $20 on a box. You don't get to choose really what's in the box, but you get to kind of um, gravitate some of your preferred items or colors or things like that based on like your hair color and your skin color and your eye color and whatever. And they'll send you a little bit more personalized things. Um, and then they will send you, so this little package and this month's theme is Caribbean Queen and it's got a bunch of different things in it. So I'm gonna do this as like a try on style. I'm going to use products for the rest of my look that are not in the box. It usually comes with like four or five full sized items. So that's really cool. And then with each item, I'm gonna put the retail price of what it actually costs. Just to put it into perspective though, it's usually everything in the box is worth over $100 and you only pay like 20, so that's pretty cool and you get to try out new things and it helps you explore new brands that you wouldn't necessarily know about on a regular kind of days. I really, really like it. I love BoxyCharm, it's my favorite. I also do Ipsy and Top Box as well, just because those ones are like 10 bucks and I was like, sure, why not? I originally, when I started this video, was only gonna do one look, but turns out I did two looks and this is the second one. The first one is significantly more dramatic. Very, very much so like, that's a look, that's a look. So, uh, and this one is much more approachable and wearable and a little bit more glam than I would normally necessarily wear, but I really, really like it. Man, my eyes always look so blue when I wear colors like this. Mm. I hope that you guys enjoy and I'll see you in a second. What's up guys? We're gonna go ahead and get started. It does come with a little um, paper thing, but it gives you like a printout and like description of everything that you get in your BoxyCharm, as well as the prices of everything. All right, so guys, so this BoxyCharm unboxing is gonna be like try on style. So I just kind of looked at everything that I've gotten here and I'm gonna put on regular makeup. So I'm gonna let you know what items are from the BoxyCharm and which ones are not. I'm going to use products that I know work and are good and I love, that way I'll know it's the new product versus the old product that's like not working right. So just to get started, I'm just gonna kind of speed through everything and only really talk about what's in the BoxyCharm. Take my NARS. I don't know if you could tell from that I just, <laughs> my winded. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I had a brief intermission there. Steph, um, who is my best friend, my next door neighbor, and who also works with me now at the brewery, uh, she is fostering a great Dane right now named Siren. She just didn't want her to be alone while she was at work and I'm not at work tonight, so uh, she asked if she could come and hang out at my house, which I'm really excited for because she's a sweetheart. She is kind of crying a little bit, so if you do hear a dog whining and stuff, uh, Steph just left, so that's probably why, but it's a surprise for Matt. Matt doesn't know that Siren is here. Hi, pretty girl. Um, I will insert a beautiful... <gasps> no. No. I will insert either a video or something or... I just put the hourglass highlighter on and... Now I'm going to get into the first item in my boxy charm that is applicable to what's happening right now, which is these. These brushes right here. These are from Lexi. And there is a tapered highlighting brush. Um, so I did put a bit of that highlight on, but I'm gonna put a little bit of a powder one probably on top after. 
that's the duo fiber power powder brush as well as these which is the precision foundation brush this one is so soft it's really really soft I just know that my skin with how dry it is this will look terrible no matter what but I am gonna use the two other brushes so I'm sorry about that it wouldn't do it any justice and I want to give it a fair shot anyway so I'm gonna use this powder brush my RCMA uh, powder did not come in the box this is mine I bought it from like a special effects store and it was like 20 bucks and it has three ounces of powder in it and it is the most hardcore shit ever it's like your makeup's gonna stay forever when I go to like a special event I use this stuff yeah I mean it's a nice soft brush yeah I, I really liked that that's great you know what because I use the champagne flash it's a little bit more goldy really nice brushes put my eyebrows on now Ta-da! all right now for the pièce de la résistance <laughs> I don't know if I said that right I'm taking this Urban Decay primer potion uh, I believe this one is minor sin so the next thing in this boxy charm is this is the Alamar Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette it's called Reina del Caribe. Oh god, I don't think I'm Spanish enough for this. It was valiant effort. I think Spanish is a beautiful language and I should learn it. Hi, puppy. Anyway, this is the palette. Such beautiful colors in it. I am kind of currently trying to decide what to do. I think I'm going to do something around these two colors. I think I'm going to do something crazy, okay? So. Please just get emotionally prepared to be potentially let down. See how we fare. Eh? Huh? And we're gonna see if we can't make a look. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into, which is called Coco Taxi. And I'm just gonna take an e.l.f. blending brush. It matches my shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get really weird. Okay, I'm gonna take this color here, which is called Celia. I'm just gonna take my finger with that on, okay? And I find that with like a color like this, I'd rather do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the center of my eye. Holy shiitake mushrooms. This is the like most pigmented. Oh, it's like metallic and like foiled. Oh, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Not exactly like everyday wearable. Oh my God. And we're done. Just joking. Okay guys, okay, okay. I'm gonna go into this color right here. It's called Veradero, it's dark blue. I just kind of wanted to marry those two colors together a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I didn't necessarily intend for it to be a dramatic winged look. But it's fine. And then I think I'm gonna go into El Malecon. Mel Malecon? Malecon? Malecon. Malecon! And just with my finger. I 
I don't know what I was thinking. You know what? I'm gonna turn this into a one palette to look kind of thing. Um, this will be the dramatic crazy one and uh, we'll do a more subtle one after. I'm gonna take more of the yellow Coco Taxi and I'm just gonna go under my eye and branch out. And then I'm gonna take the Tropical I'm gonna take the La Costa, this pink highlight one. And I'm gonna highlight my upper brow bone a little bit. So Matt just got home and he's very excited about the dog. Yeah, so I just scared him with this look because he was like, he likes makeup on and he likes looks, but he looks like more like traditional and natural kind of looks there, but he likes makeup and he always gives me feedback. This is another thing from the boxy charm. It is uh, lashes. Before I put those lashes on, I did get this. It is a uh, the eyeliner pencil from the brand Janta Blue, and I'm just gonna. Didn't really do anything I wanted it to, so I don't know about that. All right, so that was legitimately um, the biggest struggle of my life. I like how this look turned out. As a look that's a look you know it's a look it's a look uh <laughs> So this is not a look that I would honestly like ever really go for. It's not my color scheme, but, like the darker lips, unless it's like a deep purple. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the same palette to make a more everyday wearable kind of look instead of something quite so dramatic. It's just a little bit much for me, but it looks uh, it looks really cool. We'll be right back. Boo. Okay, so now we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the palette. I've already prepped my eyes and I'm still kind of winging it, but I'm gonna stick to more of this warmer toned kind of look here. A little bit less intimidating. Also, I went and showed Matt, I went out and he was like, holy shit. <laughs> and then I pulled my eyelashes off in front of him. And he was like, <laughs> it was really funny. Okay. So I'm gonna go back into the Coco Taxi. I'm gonna start off kind of similar to what happened before. This is like something that would be maybe a little bit more extra mile for me, but it's still like wearable and pretty and not super scary and I would totally do that. I think I'm gonna do this like Lancome matte shaker instead in the shade. I think I'm gonna do beige vintage. We're gonna see how this goes. The very, very last thing, sorry, is this. Oh, and it smells like, it smells like pineapple coconut. Infused with all-purpose guarana extract. Fast absorbing body cream helps tighten and smooth like no other. Amazing. It doesn't feel oily, which is also really nice. So there you go. All right, guys, that is it for this look. I'm done. I'm out. 
Anyway, I am really, really stoked on this. The only things I didn't really love were, I mean, like, the Ofra lipstick is really nice. I probably would have preferred, like, a little bit of a different color, but it's nice to branch out and have something different as well. Maybe with, like, not quite such a hardcore eye look on top of such a intense um, lip, that would have been more appropriate, but that's totally fine. I am totally in love with this palette. It's beautiful. It has such a cool range of colors. I also really love these brushes. I don't have big, big eyes, so those lashes were a little bit too extreme for me. Um, they felt really uncomfortable for me personally to wear. I usually only put falsies on that kind of just extend my outer corner a little bit and make my eye look a little bit bigger and more open, um, as opposed to full lashes because they usually close my eye in a little bit too much, but that's just personal preference. And then the Jean de Blue waterproof um, eyeliner, I can't say I was really a fan. It was really hard to work with and it kind of hurt my eyes. I didn't I didn't necessarily love that. The lipstick was great, the bum cream was great, and the palette was amazing. And all of this retailed for over like $130 and I spend like 20 bucks to get it every month and there's always amazing things in it. I will usually maybe not like one product in it. I hope you guys like this video. It was fun being able to do some eye looks with you guys. I know that I've been doing a very basic look, so it's been nice to do kind of like a little bit something more, a little, a little bit of more pizzazz. I had another video planned, but I really wanted to do this because the boxy charm came in, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!